Yes, guys. So when I talk about a fast track batch, what can you expect from a fast track batch? Number one, that this is not going to be fast. It will be very much in detail. Okay. Number two, I will be covering if I talk about an ABC aspect. Okay. Like you have your ABC costing. I will try to cover both A and B segments. That is the very important segment and also the important segment. The least important segment is what I am not going to cover as part of this uh, uh, FTR batches concept. So if you look at probably your inventory valuation, probably your cash flow statement, these happen to be a lesser more important chapters. So those lesser important chapters are not the ones which we are going to talk about here. So we are talking about certain chapters which are very much expected to appear as far as your exam is concerned. So our attempt is predominantly to cover all those topics where you have a certain problems in, where you have a certain complicated con concepts which are embedded into and where you have a certain exam questions which have been repeatedly appearing. So that is fundamentally the aspect. Will we be covering illustrations here? Yes, we will be covering illustrations here, but those illustrations will be limited. We are not going to cover all the illustrations regarding each particular standard. Our illustrations to be covered here are certainly limited because of the limited time that we will be having. If you want to cover further more problems, then you can definitely subscribe to the full videos or even take out your own study materials or practice monuments or any other reference book and start solving for a better clarity. Fast track reference batch alone is sufficient for you to appear in the exam. Absolutely no. You need to have an effort put in from your side as well. Now listening to the class directly I'll jump into the exam is a concept which is absolutely bullshit. Clear? Very bullshit concept. You need to understand that the student is the primary. A faculty only provides sufficient explanation of a concept to the student. But it is the concept it is a student who has to absorb the concept, understand it, read it once again, remember it, go into the exam, reproduce it. Now there is so much of activity which a student is expected to do. Therefore, I cannot really say that fast track reference batch alone is sufficient for you to go and jump into the exam. There is a significant amount of effort that you as a student has to put in compulsory which you cannot substitute by any faculty even if it is a 200 hour session. Be that, make it very very clear in your head. Clear? Now, so we will basically deal with concepts based on their categorizations here. So we will start with the asset related standard but before we go into the asset related standards, it is very important for us to cover what is the importance of this Indies, how did the entire transition into Indies start occurring and how many enterprises have already come into India's and what is its significance. So these are some things that we have to start looking into. So let us start this session but please make sure that if any person has any doubts you people keep messaging me. Throughout the session you can keep messaging me whenever you want even after the session closes. However it is please make sure that you people are messaging me keeping a communication intact so that you get your doubts clarified at the same time you give us sufficient feedback regarding our session.